Welcome to getting started with ASP.NET Core MVC. My name is Ronnie Rahman and I thank you for joining me in this exciting journey of Microsoft's latest ASP.NET Core MVC. This is the new technology for web development from Microsoft with the new philosophy of embracing not isolating when it comes to deploying Microsoft products in different operating systems. A little bit about me now. I am a .NET developer, a solution architect and a trainer. So you can rest assured that you will be learning from an expert. I have been developing in ASP.NET for over 10 years and witnessed its evolution from .NET 2.0 view state monstrosity to the ASP.NET Core MVC ubiquitous beauty. I've been a passionate developer for the last 12 years, coding in various .NET technologies in general, ranging from WinForm, WPF to WebForm and MVC. I have written code for embedded systems, IoT, focusing on 8-bit to 32-bit microcontrollers. Follow me at Ronnie Rahman 5. Don't be a stranger. Drop me a line. I would love to hear from you. A little overview of what you will be learning in this course will help you see a bigger picture of what this course is all about. This section will get you up and running with the Visual Studio installation. The next section is about creating a fresh project and navigating the project structure. You will examine the project.json file and run your first Hello World program to get started. You will install VS Code and ASP.NET Core MVC in Linux. If you like command line, then you will play with the command line tools for ASP.NET Core MVC available in Linux and Windows and other platforms. In this section, we will look at startup.cs file and the DI containers. We will discuss middleware and see their application in action. You will set up the static files middleware and we'll see how the built-in logging works. If you are new to MVC, this section named Routing will show you how the app knows what resources you are trying to access using URLs. You will also see conventional routing and attribute routing and will create a custom routing for future use. We will discuss controllers in depth in the controllers section. While we create our first controller, we will also briefly see how a view can be served using a controller. The next section introduces you to the world of models. Here, learn all about models and their validations. We go a step further and create mock data for our website and will set up DI containers for the mock repositories. In the views and razor syntax section, you will learn about razor syntax, strong data binding, weak data binding, and other very important topics to get you started your UI presentation smoothly. No website is complete without any persistent data storage to save its data. Entity Framework Core is how we interact with a database. We will install and configure EF Core for our project and create SQL Server local DB database and some tables in it, and then we will populate them with data. You will see the graphical tools as well as the command line tools available for migration and database creation. If you have even a little bit of knowledge of ASP.NET, then you are at the right place. This course doesn't assume much knowledge from you in terms of ASP.NET as the ASP.NET Classic is very different from the ASP.NET Core MVC. Or you are familiar with basic c -sharp syntaxes or a similar language like Java or even C or C++, but you have never worked with ASP.NET, then you will also benefit from this course. Or if you are a proficient web developer with multiple skills, but not in ASP.NET, and now you want to get started with ASP.NET Core MVC, this course also will benefit you. For those who are intermediate and advanced developers in ASP.NET Core MVC, this course will serve as a refresher for you and you might pick up one or two things that you might have missed previously. I don't assume much knowledge for this course. 
You need to be able to follow and understand the basic code that I show you in C Sharp and you'll be all set. A little bit of basic HTML will be helpful along with very little or no CSS. But above all, you need to have a strong desire and passion for learning a new technology that will allow you to write your app once, deploy in multiple platforms without little or no modification in your code. In this course, you will build an app from scratch as you follow along with me in the course. You will build a landing page with a carousel and books list with common header and common footer, a details page for each book and an ordering page for the books and a confirmation or thank you page. 